Hello, this is Grace Chatting, and I'm the founder of Relationship Academy, where we teach you lessons that they didn't teach you at school. And this is a, a little uh, video to answer uh, Joe's question. Joe asked a question on the Facebook group about uh, what were the particular challenges of couples with an age gap. So, you know, I've given this quite a bit of thought because, you know, there was a lot of things sprung to mind immediately. But when I've given it more thought, it really taxed my brain, mostly from the point of view that there are so many permutations uh, about that issue of an age gap. You know, there's age gaps between, say, maybe a 20-year-old woman and a 50-year-old man. Uh, there's age gaps between uh, a 50-year-old man and um, uh, a 30 year old woman or a 40 year old woman you know it so there's something about about how much of an age gap then there's a, an age gap when people are kind of younger but then it's the age gap like 10 years isn't a huge age gap um, between a 30 year old and a 20 year old but when you get to a 70 year old and a 60 year old it might be uh, but it all depends. So, Joe, it all depends um, because there's a lot of assumptions made about um, about age and age groups. Um, I mean, nobody would think that I'm 96. You wouldn't think that looking at me, would you? I'm only joking. Um, the thing is, there's a lot of assumptions made about age. There are many people in their 70s and 80s who are fit, healthy, well, lively, engaged with life. And equally, there's a lot of uh, young people at, uh, in their 20s, 30s, 40s who are, you know, are really quite old. So it's really not about chronological age. I would say the other thing, where there is an age difference, often the older person will be at pains to stay looking younger. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, you know, we all like to kind of look attractive, and particularly if, if we have a partner who's quite a bit younger than we are, um, the tendency will be to make a bit more of an effort. And with, you know, cosmetics and dentistry and gyms and all of that being as it is, um, you know, people can hold back the years a lot, uh, but it's, it's really not just about how people look because um, it works the other way. I, I know a lot of um, young people who um, look fit and healthy and what have you, but in their intimate relationships, like they're really set in their ways and maybe, you know, like sex is a dirty word. Um, so, you know, there's a lot it comes down to the individual person and not making um, assumptions about the age gap. Um, the, the, the main things is about the health. Um, people worry that, you know, as the years go by, um, that the older person may have health care needs uh, because of being older. But, you know, that doesn't necessarily hold, especially if they do take reasonable care of themselves. It's, it doesn't have to be an issue at all. And anyway, I think sometimes as people get older, they become more aware of uh, the need for them to take care of themselves. And in fact, actually, they may uh, be more aware and more uh, healthy and fit uh, when they're older than when they were younger. Uh, so, you know, it's not an issue, issue there. I, I would say um, one of the biggest things is it's about consciousness. It's about how conscious a person is, how engaged with life they are, how aware they are, um, and um, that that's probably one of the most important things. Um, yeah, I, I, I would say it's about how conscious the person is. Um, I have seen a lot of couples uh, where there was a, quite an age difference and it kind of led me to think that it's really not a good idea to have a big age difference. Um, 
I, I, when I think about it, a, a number of the couples there, of course, mostly they would be couples who had run into difficulties. Um, I wouldn't see the ones that didn't have difficulty. So the ones I've seen, often I would say they were people who never should have married each other in the first place. And um, the, when I think about it, they were mostly younger women with older men. And as time went on, the older men who had taken up a parental role. So this is one of the main issues. If the older person takes up a kind of a parental role, um, if you're familiar with um, transactional analysis, you'll know about the different ego states. You'll find a video that I've done on ego states and why they're important to know about on YouTube. So have a look if you haven't seen it. But um, the ego states of parent, adult, child, where there's an age gap, the older person tends to adopt a parental ego state and the other person tends to adopt a child ego state. And, and that really is the dodgy thing. But there are couples um, who are of similar age who do the same thing. It's just that with an age gap, I would say the main thing to look out for is to not fall into that parent-child uh, way of relating, but to be careful to uh, relate adult to adult. Uh, you know, as much as possible. I would say that's the main thing. The other main thing I would say is if the younger person is a woman and has some wish to have children, that that may be an issue. I know a couple where there was quite an age gap and but she was adamant, she was younger and she was adamant that she didn't want to have children. But actually as time went on, she did. And because of the age gap and it was a deal breaker, um, she changed her mind. So that is another thing that really needs to be discussed thoroughly. And actually to discuss, even if somebody thinks, well, no, I definitely don't want children, uh, to discuss what would happen if they, the, the person changed their mind. Because, you know, it forewarned is forearmed. It's better to talk about it. The other thing is life expectancy. Um, people do, you, you do need to have conversations that perhaps um, you wouldn't have with same age couples. But, you know, none of us know how long we're going to live. Um, look at Peaches Geldorf, 25. I hear the latest is that she had a heart attack. Well, you wouldn't expect it at 25. So there are conversations that people need to have irrespective of what age they are. Uh, so the 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 ego states, the, the children thing, um, the emotional age, really. Um, you know, um, some 20-year-old women um, are more emo emotionally mature than maybe some um, many 20 year old men and vice versa. So it, it depends on the emotional age that uh, the, the people are as well. Um, so, there, you know, currently there's a lot going on about, it's, it, I think age gaps are more acceptable now. When I was younger, um, if a younger woman uh, met up and took up, formed a relationship with an older man. He was referred to as a sugar daddy. Um, nowadays, uh, older women with younger men are referred to as cougars. And I mean, cougars, you know, I just find that whole thing quite fascinating of older women um, actually being a bit predatory. Um, that's a turn up for the books. Um, so uh, people have views and opinions. So the other issue that that uh, an age gap couple might have to face is what their uh, relations uh, think about it. And especially if um, one or other of them is near the same age as, you know, the younger person is near the same age as the older person's adult children, perhaps. Uh, so, you know, that's something it could cause a bit of, um, fuss in the family so it's good to it's good to talk to people um, and allow people to have views and opinions and uh, you know to discuss things respectfully with uh, any family members who have thoughts and feelings about it um, 
to allow them to wear and allow them the chance to change their mind as well. Um, so I'm, I don't know if that's answered your question, Joe. I know it was a bit rambly um, because it, when I actually started to think about it, um, it, um, it, it kind of challenged my thinking uh, that by and large it's not a good idea. It depends. The ones I've seen break up probably would have broken up anyway. It wasn't so much about the age. It was about the older person being very set in their ways of thinking and being very parental and wanting to control the other the other person. Um, I think some of the relationships with age gaps, they might not have broken down if the older person hadn't been so set in their ways, so controlling and be so parental.